Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Pakistan and Zimbabwe. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through this preview. And yes, Zimbabwe are currently leading Pakistan in that leaderboard. That is just what you want to hear before a Pakistan Zimbabwe preview. But uh, it just tells you the kind of year this has been. Uh, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zimbabwe have a very good case attack. So do not take this match lightly, is all I'll say. Yes, and it's at Perth, so venue conditions will play a big role. So let's look at what is in store for us. So the Optus Stadium, Perth, and we have loads of pace and bounce on offer. Nothing much else to say. Just watch out for blessing Mozrabani. That would be a key call along with the likes of Harris Roff, Naseem Shah, when they all hit the deck hard. You can just see the ball spring off from there. Yes, I think uh, I just hope we we'll live up the match lives up to that particular uh, potential building because to an extent six to seven great, not great, great good Satya Mandavu great fast bowlers who can really hit the deck and get a mm. lot of bounce as well. And uh, sub tall so it should be a cracking fun. I mean personally I'm a very bowler of FC. So, I think the conditions are very important. But in such conditions are when people like Liam Lynch don't take three wickets. So, <laughs> be very careful of the differential picks you have to take. Try to take bowling all on the if you can. Because in such a wicket, the batter will give you more points to the bowler. De de and the difference here also is the jitne ease you have seen in other venues in terms of batting, Perth is not easy to get out of the bat. So, as a cold game, as we have seen, where you have to get out of the bat, so no matter who's played, uh, they've all had their fair share of problems. Yes, absolutely. So, let's look at what base team we have in store for you in this game. So yes, like you can see the base team on our screen and we have favored a lot of pace bowling options. But first up, looking at the keeping and batting options, Mohamed Rizwan, Craig Irwin and Babar Azam. Any other options that you're tempted to pick? Because obviously, like we discussed, a lot of bowlers to look at. I think it's a lot of risk in this case. It's a risk in but if you want to drop Craig Griffin for Angbar, I'm all in for it. Okay, I'm in a grand league see... pick. Yes. Good talk. Because the point is, uh, I think he's a handicap. And uh, given Pakistan's struggle at times against leg spin, I'm going to play against Shad Ryan Ball. Again, as I said, Livingston is a bowler, as if it matches me, we can lay that. Because Sara focus spaces for that. And then it's the breakthrough one time or two over bowler who comes in, throws his arm over and takes two three kicks. So, uh, that is the role I'm looking at for Ryan Burr. Now, he could not bowl as well. So, if you don't have any bowling, then you can not go there and you can stick to play Garman. Uh, try and take people who you think play space better. As other batter, like I said, if you want to have any criteria for that. Yes, absolutely. Then we look at the all-rounder section. Here we have gone Shadab Khan, Sean Williams and Sikandar Raza. Mohamed Nawaz, sir, any thoughts on him and whether valid enough to leave because he, there, he's going to be bowling to a lot of left-handers and maybe Pakistan, from what I'm hearing, wants to bring in an extra pacer too. So, do you see his overs actually getting cut totally? Yes, exactly. Why I was a bit skeptical. Uh, again, mm -hmm. in Pakistan, you have two more options in the batting section. Uh, I think one for sure that is Shah Masood. Heather Ali is going to be proper Jai Mata So, mm -hmm. you can really back him uh, if you feel he come off. Shah Masood could do a decent job. Uh, but again, as I said, I'm expecting new wickets for, uh, for Zimbabwe. I don't know how many of... Rizwan and Babar will score. Um, Rizwan and Babar will score for the new ball we get to come. But I'm expecting at least one or few ball, uh, early chances. I'm going to say Shadab to the end. I feel Shadab likes to be in trouble. And I think he's a better batter, not used by him. 
Iftikhar Ahmed again is a great choice to have. Uh, mm. But again, because we are looking for somebody who hold the hold an end, and again he could bowl as well. Mm. So Mohammad Nasir Junior, खेलते हैं और आप लगते हैं कि स्पिन का यूज़ है तो आप इस्तेमाल करो नहीं तो आप वसीम जूनियर खेलते हैं फॉर नवाज यू कैन टेक वसीम जूनियर तो दैट इज एन ओपन स्पॉट फॉर यू टू प्लेयर ऑन दिस विद जिम्बाब्वे आई थिंक दिस टू डेफिनेटली मेक योर टीम बेस्ट लीग अगर आपको लेना है तो यू कैन टेक बट अगेन वेरी रिस्की ऑप्शन yes and unlikely to be used again because of spin and they already have yep. raza as an option and pakistan have a lot of right handers too then in the bowlers we have gone naseem shah shahin afridi harris of captain all no, no real questions in this section along with engrava and musrabani who is vice captain we are expecting both the captain and vice captain to make best use of the perth conditions so yes that is the thought process behind backing these two Bilkul, and this could be the first game in this entire series where you might see the landing option that from the base team. Yes, absolutely. And uh, before we get to the grand league options, we hope that all of you are taking active part in the fan to play leaderboard because it's heating up. And now that there are three games, many people might miss out on one game here and there. So you take that advantage and don't miss any game and make multiple teams. So you will be right there on top. Bilkul. So now let's look at the golden grand league picks for this game. Sorry, sir. I have taken your first pick. So you, you have to say the second pick. Then I will say the second pick. Right. So I am sticking to the same first pick from Zimbabwe, Ryan Ball, <laughs> because. I don't. Feel, I feel like his leg spin will be effective, and with the yeah. amount of right-handers that they have, if he's not going to bowl today, he's not going to bowl at all. And if they haven't learned enough from the last game about how to use his batting, because they, I honestly feel like the way Wesley batted Ryan Burl would have complemented him really well. And I don't know if it would be a match-winning score, but they could have got 200 plus. So I'm expecting them to use their batting better to, especially the, his specific resource. And no. from Pakistan, I feel like Wasim Junior, if he plays, will be a very effective choice because they. I don't see them cutting out on pacers overs, and many will focus on the first three pacers. So I'm backing Wasim to do the job in that case. Bilkul, you can already possibly hear crackers going off because people are already they just see sir's picks. But uh, my first choice is a very uncommon name. So first, good grand league choice would be Luke Longley. I think he's not had enough bowling, but if there is any deck where he can have fun, also it's this one. Because that was maybe bowling करते हैं वो काफी, and he's a handy batter. Uh, all around the and he's done it against Pakistan before. So again, that the insight comes in from Miran Bed. So yes, that is the first uh, pick there. And the second, as I said, will come from the base team, and that is Shaheen uh, Shah. I think he's new. Right, absolutely, very fair calls. So we hope that all of you enjoyed this preview. Have a great game, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you're wondering where the giveaway is, it is in the India match preview. So go ahead and watch that preview right now, so that you get to win that jersey too. All the good luck to you.